what we have here is a uh, common side blotch lizard. This guy was caught uh, at Lake Murray in San Diego. Uh, they come out when the sun's out. They spook very easily, not the easiest to catch. Uh, they're called the side blotch lizard because you can see a side black blotch on each one, uh, each side of the lizard's stomach. I would say. Yeah, it often has a, a double row of dark spots running down the, the back and converges into a single row down the tail. Uh, there's a narrow white stripe that extends from the corner of each eye to the shoulder. Uh, the throat often has a light orange or blue patch. You can see his silver chin with orange dots on it. It's a really nice color, very bright. And the vent is where he goes to the bathroom. It might seem a little gross, but that's part of nature. Uh, the venter is white uh, to gray. One toe, that's the longest, and on the front, they're like the same size and shape. And it has turquoise spots on its back, and they're very bright and really colorful. The female lacks blue and yellow flecking and is blotched dorsally in uh, brown and black, and juveniles are uh, similar to females in the color. It's a very common ground-dwelling lizard found from the coast to the desert and it's uh, abundant even in disturbed urban areas. Uh, open habitats are preferred in areas from coastal cliffs through coastal sage and chaparral, foothills, mountains, and desert uh, from below sea level to over 7,000 feet. It's been seen basking on rocks, sometimes in vegetation. Uh, it is an active all year although winter activity is restricted to warmer days. The side blotch lizard is insectivorous. Uh, the diet includes ants, mites, ticks, sow bugs, spiders, and scorpions. Vegetable matter is also consumed, but may be taken accidentally when feeding on insects. Uh, this di diurnal lizard is quite abundant. S this species is social and defends home ranges, especially during breeding season. The breeding season lasts from March to August, with mating in April and May. The common side blotch lizard usually seeks cover in vegetation, rocky crevices, animal burrows, and even under boards and garbage. <laughs>